Hey guys, I'm in Monterey, Mexico at Parque Rufino Camayo. It's the only 18-hole disc golf course in Mexico. Only one that I know of anyway. And it's not too hard to find. I'm staying downtown near the micro, uh, macro plaza. And I'd take one bus to get here. Uh, you're gonna really want to study a map though prior to coming because I had to walk a little ways to get here from, uh, from the bus stop. But uh, yeah, this is the breakdown of the course. I'm really excited to play this. I've been looking forward to it for, for a long time. Okay, this is hole one. It plays 107 meters. Um, looks like you gotta go up over some trees and there's a pile of rocks that you have to negotiate on the way there. Hole two is 49 meters and it plays uphill. Looks like there's some out of bounds behind it. There's a uh, paved uh, running trail up there. But you guys say you want to play, we're staying Sunday. Sunday morning is when... Everybody comes? Uh-huh. Okay. But I'm not sure what time. Okay, I'll find out. I'll about the year. Okay, this is hole three. It plays 76 meters. It's downhill. It's not very long. Uh, it plays over a dry creek bed, which is dry. <laughs> All right, hole four plays 100 meters, and it's pretty straightforward. It's just a straight shot, no obstructions. Hole five is 87 meters, and it's a pretty straight shot. There's a little hill right before the basket. It looks like there's some trees that kind of guard the green. Hole six plays 83 meters, and it's a pretty cool shot. It kind of goes down this tunnel, and, it, and the basket's on the left-hand side. So you can just play a low little skip hyzer, and hopefully you end up uh, where you want to be. Hole seven is 130 meters. This is the second longest hole on the course, and it's a straight shot. It's all the way down there by, by the playground. Eight is 94 meters and it plays slightly downhill and you have to go over the top of some trees. All right, hole nine is 80 meters and we're going back to the same basket that was used for hole two. So it's the one that's kind of up that hill and there's out of bounds right behind it. So I'm just gonna throw a putter into that hill and have it, have it slide up. Nice safe shot.
Hole 11 is 84 meters, and it looks like a pretty straight shot. There's nothing really in the way. Uh, it's just behind that bush that's in the middle of that rock pile. So I guess we'll play the walking path behind it out of bounds. Hole 12 is 82 meters, and it looks like the baskets behind this dog park are the fenced in area. Um, the sign kind of has the basket to the left of the park, of the, the dog area. So I'm gonna guess that at some point the, the fence for the dogs was extended. So anyway, it looks like you gotta go over, <laughs> over the, the dogs. I'm gonna play that out of bounds. Um, but yeah, I think it looks like a driver. You just give it everything you got and get get over that that out of bounds area. Okay, so it turns out I played hole 12 wrong. It is left of the dog area, but uh. That was kind of a cool hole going over the dog, uh, dog fence. So anyway, here we are on hole 12 again, and I'm gonna play it correctly this time, and then we'll just head on back to, to 13. Hole 13 is 56 meters, and it plays downhill. Uh, it goes right over this dry creek bed. So it's pretty straightforward. There's a walking path beyond it. Uh, I'm gonna play that out of bounds. Shouldn't, probably shouldn't come into play though. All right, hole 14 is 62 meters. And it looks like it's kind of a dog leg. It plays out to this open field, which isn't very far away, and then the basket's kind of tucked up on this, this rocky area that's kind of by that dog area. So I want to be sure to stay out of there. So I think it's the, the right thing to do here is play it safe out onto that field and then play it out, take your three, and walk away. Hole 15 is 84 meters. It's kind of downhill and then it dog legs a little bit up to the left. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of trees on the left too, so I think it's just a clean, you know, big clean hydrogen. There's a whole bunch of room to work with. So yeah, just put it up in the air. Hole 16 is 85 meters and it's just straight, straight ahead, but there's a wall of trees in front of it. And there's a walking path on the left-hand side, which I'm gonna play as out of bounds. So the shot, the shot you gotta go big hyzer up over this, this stuff, which really, you know, it's a short hole, but it makes it, it makes it a driver hole, so. Okay, it looks like, looks like hole 17 is 56 meters, which isn't very far, but we're going back to that same basket that's used on hole two and hole nine. So it's on that big slope with that out of bounds behind it. So, I mean, the only shot to hyzer, and if it hits that hill, I imagine you're gonna get some roll. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put it out there and see what happens. Okay, so I threw it down and it hit the hill and it rolled down. Um, the, this rock wall stopped at the ledge, this top ledge here. So it's not really a gimme, but uh, I'm on, you 
know, I'd say I'm in the, in the putting area. Okay, here we are, the last hole, hole 18. It's the longest hole in the course, it's 170 meters. And we're going back to the basket that we use for hole four. Um, it's kind of a downhill shot, so yeah, it's pretty much everything you got again. But a downhill shot, I imagine, I imagine a hole like this plays like a par four, so I'm looking to get a three, birdie three. All right, so that's Parque Rufino Tamayo. Uh, this is a really nice park. Uh, the disc golf course is, is great. There's good shot variety here. There's uh, a couple long holes. Uh, yeah, some to the left, some to the right. And the setting is the setting's outstanding. There's um, You're surrounded by mountains. You're still in the city. You know, this is a very modern city, so it's got all these modern buildings and these mountains and there's disc golf here, so um, one thing I would suggest would be to print out a map. Uh, I didn't have I didn't have a printer, so I just like drew my own map. You can kind of see it here, and that got me through the course. We only missed that one hole, um, so really just turned into being 19 hole course. But yeah, I I would come here again for sure. This is this is really a great a great course, a great park. So um, yeah. Check it out.